This week, Dad is attempting to fill his general whitetail buck tag in Alberta. My name's Mitchell Payment. I started tagging along with my dad to go hunting basically since I learned to walk. I grew up living the outdoor lifestyle, learning from my dad and any hunting video I could get my hands on as a kid. Got a day with a big buck tonight. Once I turned 12, the legal age to hunt, we started taking things more serious than ever. This is our second attempt on getting a buck. Spawn stock meal there. Working hard and learning through experience to better our odds to fold our tags on the animals we were pursuing. It has helped us grow into who we are now. Welcome to Season 3 of Moment of Truth TV. He's gonna right go down. Look at the blood pumping. Yes! Here. Smoke, jump. It's a dream buck. Look at that drop. <laughs> Was gorgeous. As most hunts start, we're out at our property brushing in tower blinds in preparation for opening day. There's no question that one of my favorite parts of every hunt is the preparation. A time when your anticipation for what might happen in the near future when it's time to hunt is at an all time high. Well, it's about 10 days before hunting season. We're at the land where you set up that other tower blind. We just brushed it in a little bit better and that kind of stuff. And now we're on the tower blind on the cut line in our back bush where I shot my big buck last year. We're gonna set it up, get it all brushed in and make sure the lanes are clear and get ready for opening day. So, can't wait. We just got done at our land. Now we're coming to my old faithful spot. We're gonna put up two ground blinds, one for each wind. We usually just put one up here, but I'm doing two this year. So we've got both winds and kind of two angles of the two different bushes we can hunt them out of. So we're gonna get after it. has been very good to dad in the past yielding him some of his best luck to date and you just never know what you might see holy crap i can't believe it With an impressive past on this property, it all stems from the preparation done prior to season. And we're hoping this year is no different. Okay, we just came from the lake. We set up two ground blinds in my lucky spot. Put one over on the east end of the property and one here, you got both winds covered. And I know they're going to be coming out of this bush. It's a big bedding area, so 
it should be good. So opening day, I'll probably be hunting here and I can't wait. Moment of Truth TV is brought to you by Old Smokes Coffee, RV City, Tacticam, iHunter App, Enforcer Ozone, Prime Archery, G5 Outdoors, KNR Tax Services, Killin Sticks Arrows, 365 Archery, Sugar Creek Taxidermy, Revolution Armory, and Score Ammunition. This segment is brought to you by Old Smokes Coffee, crafted for the courageous. Okay, I just pulled into my lucky spot here. I'm a new, uh, it's, I'm running real late. I'm just gonna, I don't even know what the wind is. It's supposed to be north, but something's telling me it might've changed on me. So I don't know which ground blind I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna get ready here and head out there and once I get in the middle, I'll find out which ground blind's gonna be good for the wind and I'm gonna hit that one. So I'll see you in there. Great first night in the blind and young bucks up on their feet pursuing does. Dad's gonna have to stay persistent for a big buck to steal their roll. Okay, I'm just gonna take a couple shots with the rifle here. I'm 99% sure it's sighted in, but uh, we did it, you know, a month ago, but I'm just gonna give her a quick shot here and make sure it's 100% sighted in. Cause you never know, it could have got bumped or anything, something like that, right? So just gonna give it a shot here and make sure she is ready to go dad did his due diligence to make sure his rifle is still dialed in before his next night sit with the action heating up It's November 2nd, the afternoon of November 2nd, and it's it's warm. It's only like minus one, but it, it did snow all night and all day. It's probably snowed two, three inches here. So last night I went into the ground by with a good wind, and that buck, come he come by real early. It was crazy. I just got set up, but I watched him come out by my other ground point that I have placed in this field too. And I just, with it snowing all night, there's a big spruce bog in there. I got a feeling that's where they're gonna be, but I don't have the best wind. So I'm still debating what I'm gonna do going in, but I just know they're gonna come out in that corner. And there was a buck in there chasing some does around and stuff like that. It's just, it's I think it's a sm immature buck that just, he doesn't know any better. So he's just putting on, he just has a bit of attitude, but I'd still like to go sit there. I really would, because I know they're gonna come out and with the snow and the cold, like, cool and wet and that they might you never know a nice buck could come out so 
I'm gonna decide halfway in what, what I'm gonna do. So if it's total east wind, I'm probably gonna go to the, the one I wasn't in last night. I sh probably shouldn't, but I just, the deer come out to the north and I'm still, you know, 150, 160 yards to the, to the south of them. So as long as it's this direct east wind, I'm probably gonna go into that one, but I'll decide halfway out. So we'll see you in there. Okay, I'm in the same blind as it was in yesterday. I'm all settled in here. I couldn't go in the other one. The wind's just too bad. So I'm thinking they're gonna come out in that corner, but we'll see. They could work the way over here. We never know. So it's still early. Let's see what happens. the cold front getting the deer up on their feet, Dad has to be patient and hope that a shooter buck comes within range. With Dad unable to pull the trigger on a shooter buck, he decided to come back and try his luck the following morning. Once again with no luck and only a small buck making an appearance, it's time for Dad to head to our property and hope for an old bush buck to slip up. This segment is brought to you by iHunter app. Know your regs, where you're hunting or plan to go, right on your mobile device. Okay, just got to the lake. It's about a half an hour drive from my other spot, which is nice, it's not too far away. But uh, this morning I saw that one buck, he, right at first shooting light, he was five by five, a young five by five, but decent, I think. It's hard to tell, right? He was 160 yards away, but looked okay. But not, not ready to shoot one like that yet. Um, I did see one right about 50 minutes before shooting light too. He just kind of come out the corner and just skirted the field and boom into the bush. So that might have been a buck too. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna start the fire in the cabin, get her all warmed up and hang out for about three hours and head into the tower blind on the field here. So I think, yeah, we should see some deer. Hopefully it's it works out tonight. I don't plan on shooting anything. The big bucks just aren't moving yet, but you never know, it is November. And in November in Alberta, you just never know what can happen. So I'm gonna be about three hours. I'm gonna head into that tower blind and we will see you in there. Okay, I'm all set up in the tower blind. Every time I come in here, I just can't believe it. It's such a sweet spot. I'm gonna keep her quiet here. And it's about 3.30, so I got about three hours to sit, so. Hopefully we can see some stuff. Dad's first night in the blind on our property was fairly uneventful, only yielding a couple doe sightings. The following morning, Dad was right back in the same blind, hoping to lay eyes on a shooter buck. Dad was blessed with these two young fawns grazing by him to start this beautiful morning.
As the morning went on, the action ramped up, more and more deer entering the field to feed, and before Dad knew it, he was covered up in deer. As Dad was watching the does feeding out in front of him, he glanced to his left and was about to be rewarded with the opportunity he had been waiting for. With this giant beautiful bush buck hitting a scrape on the edge of the willows, all dad can hope for now is the buck presents a shot opportunity. Moment of Truth TV is brought to you by Old Smokes Coffee, RV City, Tacticam, iHunter App, Enforcer Ozone, Prime Archery, G5 Outdoors, KNR Tax Services, Killin' Sticks Arrows, 365 Archery, Sugar Creek Taxidermy, Revolution Armory, and Score Ammunition. This segment is brought to you by RV City for all your trailer, trailer repair, and camping needs. Located in Mournville and Niski, Alberta. Okay, just watch the footage. I'm still scared. It wasn't a perfect shot, I know that. I think it was I think it was really good left and right, perfect, but it might have been a bit low. It's probably been pretty close to an hour since I shot him. It's raining and stuff, so I'm a little bit worried about blood trails, so I'm gonna go down. My brother was sitting on another spot over here. We're gonna meet just back in behind the tower blind here. We're gonna walk up to the point and just see if we can see if we can see him in the field I I think this deer might have took it away he's a big deer it wasn't a perfect shot so but anyway what's it's all you never know until you get out there so we're gonna I'm gonna get down Mitch is on his way out he figures it's okay shot but he's not 100% sure pretty hard to tell right from the video so all we can do is get down gather everything together kind of slowly get over there and hopefully we can find them so stay tuned okay guys here he is I'm so happy I can't believe it he's a beautiful beautiful Alberta whitetail he's just an amazing animal this morning it started off a doe and a fawn the two fawns were right in front of the tower blind just eating away keep me entertained 
I didn't expect too much and then another doe came out across the field down out the cut line and it wasn't two minutes later this guy comes around the corner and works that scrape and my heart started pounding and I, <laughs> I got pretty excited and he comes straight across and he presented me a perfect shot really but I did I shot a little low it was a little low so we gave him a long time we came around the corner here this is where he come around right here and he took off that way so there was blood pretty good blood but we gave him two hours and it started to snow and we're like well we got to go so Mitch came out thank God and my brother was here with us and we started tracking and we went a long ways we went way further than we thought we were gonna go and we got in there about a kilometer and sure enough we come over a hill and he stood up right in front of us and I I give him one right in the neck and he just dropped so but believe me I was scared when we were tracking him I thought uh oh this ain't good I, I honestly didn't even know if we were gonna find him but thank God we did so just just feel really blessed to be able to take an animal like this I want to thank Mitch and my brother for being here and helping out and just it just yeah it's it's so it's just awesome so there he is guys i hope you enjoyed it god are done <laughs>